Yo, what's up guys? I'm going right into part three. I'm sorry that I had to make this into a three-part series, but let me know in the comments and also with the way you uh, rate it, like or dislike. If you like this really detailed, see, it's going to make for more content. It's going to make for longer videos, um, but you're going to get a lot better look at the, the new baits I'm getting, especially really new iCast lures. Let me know how you like the, the way I'm doing it. If you'd rather me go back the other way and kind of speed through things and have them in the package and not quite as talk much elaborately about them, then I'll go back to that. I have no problem, but I want to know what you guys, because three parts, you know, for basically one order, even though, I mean, I do have a lot in this order, but still, it's quite a lot. So let me know if this was too much, uh, and if you'd rather go back the other way. That way we can have feedback, and I can kind of give you what you want on that, because everyone loves these videos, but three parts is quite a lot. So I want to know what your attention span is, and uh, what's too much for you guys. But anyway, I'm going to I'm gonna get back on this, because I had to end it quickly. I saw that I was closing on 15 minutes, and... Uh, and I'm actually editing this with iMovie, just on my iPhone. But uh, once I start recording with the GoPro, I'll be able to use with Sony Vegas, and the videos will be able to be as long as they want to be. So that's another thing. If I have really long orders and long videos, let me guys know if you want me to break them into parts or if you want me to have them, you know, up to a certain size, maybe 30 minutes, 45 minutes at the most, you know, like 30-minute videos. Just let me know what you guys would like. I'll probably uh, ask that separately another time. So I'm going to go back into this Strike King bait because I had to end it really quickly. It's the uh, KVD 1.5F, dives to 8 foot. And uh, you wouldn't believe it with the size bill, but it's pretty sick. This color right here, I believe this is the Ghost Minnow. Uh, no, the other color is Sartreuse Sexy Shad. But the color that I was just holding up is Clearwater Minnow. It's kind of like the Ghost Minnow, just a little bit different. It's got a different color back. Um, but, uh, man, you know, this is a really neat bait. It's got a completely flat deal, so it's not like the other ones. And really, this bait kind of reminds me of, like, uh, the, the, uh, the bomber, um, the small bomber crankbaits. I'm trying to remember. Uh, flat shads. The little flat shads. I used to catch so many fish with them things. I used to put them on, like, like eight and ten pound test and catch so many fish all year long through the, like, through, like, May through the fall. I mean, I would absolutely wear them out, so I anticipate this bait being an absolute fish catcher. I cannot wait. It's the new Strike King um, flat, sh flat, uh, flat Shad Crankbait. And then right here, Chartreuse Sexy Shad. Nothing really special. A little bit something for the little bit dirtier water, or maybe early in the morning. Really, really cool. I can't wait to use these. And they're a little bit lighter than you would think, since they have no rattles. Really, I would think the maximum pound test for this would be like 12 pound test, max, because they're just really light baits, and you might want to have, uh, you know, uh, be able to cast a lighter bait, so you need to be a little bit more experienced, or you need, or you can just use a spinning reel, would probably work really good with these. What's the actual weight? Like I said, they're kind of light. Let's see if it tells me the weight of this bait. I'm, I'm guessing it's got to be around a quarter ounce. I don't see it anywhere, and... Uh, I don't see it anywhere, but it's uh, it's probably right around a quarter ounce. It's, it's pretty light. It's kind of like a balsa wood type crankbait. Pretty light bait. Now, the next thing, man. This is awesome. Check out this six-inch bull shad swim bait. And any guys that want to get into swim baiting, you're, you're going to realize that the handmade, um, you know, wooden type swim baits are really, really popular. But they're also really expensive, and they're kind of hard to get a hold of. Now, the guy that makes this bait, the bull shad, his name is Mike Buca. And he lives out here in Georgia. He lives uh, around Lake Alatoona. He's really, really popular around these parts for making these baits. Uh, some of these small stores actually sell them, um, at, but usually at a higher price. You wouldn't think it, but they actually sell it at a higher price. But this is a really, really neat swim bait. You get them in different sizes. Um, there's not many colors. Uh, there's only a few colors of each of each size. But, you know, the paint, whenever he makes a specific bait, is really natural for whatever you're trying to do. This one is the Blueback Herring. So I'll give you the actual deal of it. It's the Bull Shad. Um, and it's the actual Blueback Herring. Blueback Herring swim bait, uh, 6 inch. And you see here, man, you start looking around at swim baits on Tackle Warehouse and stuff, you're going to notice that, like, the ones with the multiple joints are going to cost more. And this is a handmade bait from a guy named Mike Buca here. Really slim profile, really natural. The action this thing has is incredible. And you can see here, he's got something on uh, on the tail. Instead of it having a hard body tail, it's got like uh, some type of feather 
some type of hair or something like that and it really has an interesting action and that's what you get out of a really quality bait um, um, I'm really curious to see how this does I know it's gonna be an absolute fish catcher but I'm really curious to see the the, the uh, durability of this bait uh, you know and it's not that heavy you would you would think maybe this bait be pretty heavy but it's really not so uh, I can't wait to throw this if you want to look it out it's kind of expensive but I'm hoping it'll last a long time and hopefully it'll catch a ton a ton of uh, fall bass awesome awesome bait another little doohickey here got the uh, Zapu twin blade I didn't take it out but uh, basically that little min uh, middle right there uh, snaps onto your hook it like goes over the hook just kinda like a trailer hook type deal and uh, you know for like swim jigs and stuff it gives you just a little bit of blades on the end you can put this on a frog you can put this on a Texas rig like a Cinco uh, you know straight tail bait you can put it on there and as it falls these little blades are going to quiver and uh, create a small amount of vibration but really more than anything I think uh, you know it's really the, just a little bit of flash it's going to give it a little something different and those guys out there in, Jap in Japan and you know uh, Orientals man they are they're always look they're always innovating and this is just a little something different a little something new and that's what it's all about let's see we've got some mend it here a fellow friend and a youtuber uh, made a video on this uh, not too long ago, some that he bought, and he was really happy with it. And I saw it many months ago, and I thought maybe it would be a good investment. But uh, at the time, I was like, nah, I'm not going to buy it. I'd rather buy something else with my money. So I ended up not. But after seeing what he said and how long it lasts and uh, how well it does for him, uh, I bought. I decided just to pick me up. It's like this little bottle right here. Uh, it's it's uh, a half of a fluid ounce, I guess. Um it, it, it's supposed to last a really long time and it basically uh, repairs your plastics if they uh, break in the middle you know you it, by the by the top of the bend of the hook if something uh, if the plastics kinda uh, break out you could put this on there and it fixes it just like new and you could probably get you know at least one or maybe three more fish out of something and you know over time that could really make a big difference I may not do it in tournament time but fun fishing pre-fishing that could really save you some money uh, this right here, you ever heard of like the UV uh, tight lines baits? I've done a few videos on them myself, but right here, this is basically a spray that you could put on any plastic, hard bait, whatever, and it basically does the same thing. So uh, natural living organisms in the water reflect UV rays. I'll give you a quick background of it. And UV is reflected to like 40 foot of water. No, it doesn't matter the water clarity. I, at least I don't think it does. I could be wrong on that, but basically UV rays, UV light goes way farther in the water than regular light. Way, way farther. It's completely dark under there, but the UV light still penetrates. And natural organisms reflect it. So basically they're going to shine a certain color just because of the UV rays. Now this stuff right here, you spray it on there and it basically shines your lure up, makes it more realistic. And, um, you know, because those bait fish are literally shining in the water. Those crawfish, you know, down there 20 foot, if you can't see the bottom, it's completely dark. They're still kind of shining. The fish are still feeding visually a lot more than you would think. So that's one of the things about fishing. We're always still learning stuff. And you can get to pick this up at Tackle Warehouse. UV Blast. Uh, pretty cool stuff. I used it, and I caught some fish on it, and it seemed to do well for me. It doesn't have a terrible odor if you're really big on scent. Um, but uh, be careful about leaving this out in the sun. I had an experience where it literally like, foamed up and uh, completely um, uh, like uh, built up around here and the, pretty much the whole bottle was done so I ended up buying another I'll make sure I keep it out of the sun and really hot temperatures I think you should keep it out of there if you can keep it in a cool box room temperature would be good and here we go we're gonna get into some really cool stuff here like first we're gonna get into uh, the Mega Bass jerk baits here this one right here is the Mega Bass Vision 110 Plus One. So it's the Vision 110, but in the bigger bill size. The Plus One means just a little bit deeper. This bait's going to dive significantly deeper. I think this bait should get down to a minimum of like eight foot. Um, not really sure the specs. It doesn't. I don't see it, but it's half ounce. It suspends, and. Uh, um, Mega Bass just makes really good jerk bait, so I thought I'd pick one up. And this little bit deeper one would be good later in the year, but also around schooling fish. Uh, you might want to get up underneath the small schools of fish that you might be catching on a smaller, shallow diving jerk bait like that. You can get that deeper one, get down there and target maybe those bigger fish. Uh, really cool looking jerk bait. And the color for this is uh, Ito Natural. 
And look at this color, like, in the, man, that's awesome. That's going to mimic a blueback herring, I think, really, really well. And you see it's really neat looking. It's a sick looking jerkbait, and it's got some little um, cutouts here. Really a sick looking. It's supposed to have a lot of action or a specific action. There's really good high quality jerk baits, and I've never seen a bait that has a black barrel swivel to kind of match the uh, the top of the bait. It's really, really sick. I can't wait to use it. This right here is another Mega Bass jerk bait, uh, the 110 Magnum, and I have two of them in two different colors. The Magnum is basically the same thing as the regular 110, but just a bigger body size. So the the uh, the bill is the same, but the bigger body size of the jerk bait so uh, bigger profile trying to mimic bigger bigger bait fish and stuff like that uh, once again this is a suspending jerk bait and the color is GP pro green and uh, let's see how deep is this bait supposed to dive I think it's supposed to dive down to around six foot or so but if you can make that out right there um, it's a uh, 5 8 ounce, so it's a little over half an ounce. Pretty good, and these things, you know, have internal weighting systems and stuff, so they'll cast really far. Let's check out the color, that uh, GP Pro Green. Look at that, really sick color, so really similar to the uh, Sabil Flat Shad color that I showed you. So I expect that to be a really good fish catcher. Same thing, it has that little cutouts on the body, really sick looking jerk bait. And with the little bills, they get deeper down than you would really think. With the, the way they design these baits, they get down a lot deeper than you would. They're really high quality jerk baits. If you're wanting something that's really high quality, I suggest you pick uh, pick a few up. You're, I think you're going to really be impressed. And it comes in a really cool package too. I guess that's supposed to like may uh, look like you're making money because they're going to catch you a lot of fish, but pretty cool jerk bait. Uh, the next one is another Mega Bass jerk bait. Which one is this? This is the Ito Shiner limited edition um, bait. I'm trying to see because I just went through and bought a whole bunch. And this one uh, right here is a half ounce and it suspends also. And there's different kinds. Like there's different ones that kind of float up uh, a little bit. I think this is this is this is one of them that suspends. They have a couple different brands. Basically, this is it. Not brands, but different kinds. Um, it's got a little bit bigger bill there, just a little bit different. I don't really know what to tell you that's different about this bait. I remember when I bought it, I was going through and I was just kind of researching. But this is one of them I bought. I wish I could tell you. It's kind of bad that I don't know. But I, I'm get, I'm new to Mega Bass jerk baits. Um, but basically, this is it. Look, check at that color out. I'll tell you the actual name of it. Really sick color. Like uh, I really like these kind of uh, mirage, you know, giving off some sparkle and flash type colors. Really good for clear water. It, the flash really hides the bait in clear water. They can't quite see it. They're kind of confused. They just want to go up there and just uh, just attack it. Really, <clears throat> really sick looking jerk bait. Uh, really well designed. I know Mega Bass. They make really high quality products, especially jerk baits. Are really well known, best on the market, and uh, really cool bait. Let's see what color is it. Just regular Tennessee shad. GG um, Tennessee shad. Uh, really cool. Really cool color. Can't wait to use that. And the next jerk bait. This has to be one of the most natural. <coughs> bait fish type colors that I've ever seen in my life. The color is called, um, what is it? G uh, Mega Bass Sexy Shad. It's actually called Sexy Shad, and that is one of the best Sexy Shad colors I've ever seen. The real nice gloss finish they put really high quality uh, gives this bait just a different color. Well, not a really a different color, just a different, just a different look. It's really, really natural. If you ever, these shad around here really look very similar to this. Um, some of these other colors are really mimic back, blueback herring because they have kind of a green, olive green back. But this regular shad looks awesome. So, really cool. This is a regular old uh, Vision 110 Magnum. Just the Magnum, so bigger body size. And this right here, really cool bait. It's the Mullox the Lover. Mike Iaconelli type bait. Um, this head, you wouldn't think it weighs much, but this is actually a half ounce head, so it's going to get down there. It's kind of be it's supposed to be a crankbait, chatterbait type design together. Really cool, something kind of innovative, and I'm wanting to speed this up. The, uh, the color is called Bait Fish, and it's a, you can get them in single hook and treble hook. And then right here, have a Spro, Baby John, Fat John, and it's supposed to dive zero to two foot. And it's one of their new uh, deals. So, anyways, this has been Johnny Jenkins, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.